The Corn School on RealAgriculture.com is brought to you by BASF and Pride Seeds. Hi, I'm Aaron Stevanis, Mark Development Agronomist with Pride Seeds. I'm here in uh, Drayton, Ontario at the FS Partners location with Don McLean. He's with Growmark Ontario. Uh, it's been a more cooler year this year. Uh, as you can see, you know, it's, it's a little chilly and it's also wet. Uh, very seasonal and uh, we're here to talk to you about starter fertilizer and the importance of that in a, in a, in a growing season like this. So Don, maybe you could tell us the, the importance of starter on a cooler wet year. Okay, thanks Aaron. Um, starter fertilizers is probably one of the most critical things we can do to help maximize corn yields um, in a year like this and in any year really, but this year it's even more critical with the cool wet conditions that we're facing. Um, a starter fertilizer is going to help get that crop off to a good start whether it's a liquid fertilizer in the furrow or it's a two by two band of a, a dry starter fertilizer, this is gonna really help you push those yields and get that corn crop off to a good start. All right, Don, that was some great points on, on why starter is so important, but uh, maybe you can tell us, you know, what, what makes a good starter mixture? What would you like to see in your either two by two band or pop up liquid fertilizer? Uh, one of the key things in a, in a, a starter fertilizer is, is phosphorus. So if you notice, most of the starter fertilizers have a high phosphorus number. So that's one of the critical things. Banding that uh, phosphorus means that it'll be more available to the plant because we can concentrate it in a band. Um, the other thing is it, it doesn't have the ability to react with the soil and get tied up. So those are some really good points, as well including zinc in, the, in that starter as well, especially for corn, will, will really help get some phosphorus into the plant and help with overall root growth and then dry down in the fall as well. So, you know, good amount of phosphorus, a little bit of potassium, a little bit of nitrogen and a little bit of zinc and that's a, a good starter program, so. All right, Don, we've already covered starter fertilizer and the importance of it and also what goes into that starter fertilizer. Uh, maybe we could talk about the whole field aspect. Uh, we had some really big yields in parts of the province. Uh, what do we need to do nutrient wise to kind of replenish that? I think that's one very important concept that uh, we've got to replace what we're removing. We did have some tremendous yields in some areas last year, and we've got to put back what we're removing. So if we look at, um, you know, Mosaic has, a, has an app here, um, you know, a 200 bushel corn crop, which I think in some areas we were easily achieved. Uh, we're looking at uh, 76 pounds of phosphorus was removed. Uh, around 54 pounds of K2O potassium was removed from that soil, as well as 15 pounds of sulfur. So. You know, look at your program. If you're not putting that back, you're depleting your soils. We need to make sure those soils maintain at a high level to maximize your yields. Great, thanks, Don. You know, it's uh, kind of the importance of uh, fertility. You know, hopefully we start getting some warmer, drier weather and uh, we can be in the field. Let's hope. <laughs>